Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. I just wanted to do a video because uh, it's really, uh, yeah, we're a week away from the meetup in Prague, the 2nd of October, in the evening at the Novomieski, Novomieski Pivovar. And I'm going to put the link to that uh, pub uh, here uh, just underneath the video. Yarda has told me that he is going to reserve a table in the non-smoking area uh, of this pub. We're going to sample some good Czech beer, hopefully speak Czech the whole time. Although I gather there's some people there who don't speak Czech, but most of the people there will be speaking Czech. I think there'll be a group of about 10 people or so. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing uh, you, and if more of you can make it, please do so. Please let me know. Uh, you know, and it makes me, it sort of reminds me that uh, while there are some people who have to learn languages for their job or because they emigrated somewhere, uh, but for most people, language learning has to be about fun. Uh, and so, I mean, I'm really looking forward to going to Prague to uh, speak Czech. I've got to figure out what I can do. Uh, in order to be able to speak all day long. And I was thinking maybe I could even find out if there's like a, you know, a seniors club. Because seniors got time on their hands. They're happy to talk. I could go there and talk about, you know, language learning in the internet or life in Canada or whatever they're interested in. Find out about uh, the Czech Republic and speak Czech. Might, uh, you know, that might be one opportunity. I'm certainly going to go and find pubs outside the center of the city where there aren't so many foreigners, uh, get on the bus, public transportation system, and try and sit beside some people that might want to talk uh, to me in Czech. Uh, anyway, my goal there is to try to speak as much Czech as I can now that I've had a good year or so of, of predominantly passive learning. Uh, but yeah, it's got to be fun. And that's where, you know, uh, just uh, saw the other day that uh, Benny the Irish polyglot is off to Brazil to learn Arabic uh, to prepare for eventually going to Egypt. Now, I don't know how he does it, but I got to hand it to him that uh, if I were his age and I could charge around to different countries and learn different languages, I mean, I think that's a, a great thing to do. What a tremendous, tremendous experience. He'll never, uh, he'll never regret that. I mean, his even his his brief exposure to Chinese, his exposure to these different languages, and now he loves being in Brazil. He's going there and he's going to study hard to learn Arabic, and then he's going to go to Egypt and meet people up there. I mean, he's perhaps uh, a an extreme example of someone who makes up basically a full-time occupation uh, out of uh, the enjoyable pursuit of language learning. But ultimately, yeah, it has to be fun. It has to be fun, and it sure is fun for me. Last few days, I've been watching Czech movies, uh, some comedies, some uh, you know modern uh, movies. I saw a couple of movies from the night from 1937. One called uh, uh, Bila Nemoc, which is a book, a, a movie by Karol Čapek, which was made in 1937, and uh, so two years before Hitler invaded Czechoslovakia, and it was pretty, um, you know, prescient, really, in the way he anticipated, uh, and maybe it was clear for at least some people to see the, what, uh, what was coming with, with Hitler in Germany, and plus the idea that you're put back into the 1930s in, in Czechoslovakia, and those are people from that time that are speaking, and uh, it's just, it's just a, a tremendous, uh, tremendously uh, enjoyable thing to do. So, that's it. Uh, please, if you're in Prague or near Prague, come and join the meetup. I look forward to meeting you there. And uh, thank you for listening. Uh, and you know what? I will do some, uh, I will do some videos from Prague. I yeah, promise. Uh, and then i um, be going to Portugal and Spain, so I'll probably do some in Portuguese and Spanish from uh, Portugal and Spain if I can get my, my mind unwound uh, from my Czech uh, experience. Okay then, thanks for listening, bye.